Don't be fooled by this game's tagline, it's not really a simulator. While 100 Days does have educational aspects, it's probably best described as a puzzler educational management type game rather than a sim. Through the story you do actually learn some things about making wine, but you don't really do it yourself. All of the work you do is done through this Tetris style work order system, which is a far cry from something more grounded like Brewmaster Beer Brewing Simulator where you're actually involved in mixing the ingredients and it's a much more grounded experience. In 100 days you put these blocks down that abstractly represent the actual work you're doing and you have to fit them into this field. And running into trouble placing the pieces down kind of shows that like you know you can't do all these activities within a day or you can't organize your time frame to complete all these activities at the same time. Through this you make the wine that you then use to expand your winemaking operation. Different steps in the production process allow you to alter different properties of the wine, and a big part of the game is experimenting with these to try and figure out the optimal levels. And then once you've done that, you need to figure out the right order in order to bring those about. Because you know, for example, something earlier in the process might lower the uh, body of the wine while something later on might raise it. So you need to properly plan it so that at the end it's correctly done. Because if you just kind of do it on the fly, then you might end up messing one, up, one thing up early and then not being able to fix it later on. The main problem I had is that progress is really slow. After getting through the story in about 40 minutes, I spent the next 30 minutes or so just making the exact same two wines again and again. So I literally spent like an hour and a half or more in this game and I only made two wines and barely got to upgrade my farm. Some things just unnecessarily slow your progress. Like you have to spend like $10,000 or something to research something and then you have to spend almost the exact same amount of money to actually buy it. Why not have a separate currency that represents research? Perhaps there could be a separate tile that you could optionally put down to work and gain research points from. I feel like something needs to be done because having to spend money simply to research in at least the way it's implemented now just doesn't make sense. Like why do I have to spend $10,000 just to go, hmm, I think this vineyard could use a tractor. In fact, why does something like that even need to be researched? I'd much rather just have it be able to be purchased outright. And it doesn't really feel like these upgrades really propel you forward, like you've significantly improved your productivity or profitability, because they all increase your upkeep costs. So in the end, you might be making just about the same or even less than before after upgrading something. Because of the high cost of going for upgrades, trying to get them usually consists of speedrunning through the day, trying to complete all your menial tasks quickly so that you can sell your wine as fast as possible. It's just tedious. As for the story, well, I just kind of skipped through it. The premise is literally just a bougie Stardew Valley. Call me a communist, but I just find it hard to empathize with somebody who's literally gifted a full-blown winery and is also just annoyingly wholesome. The full-blown boring text walls were literally just putting me to sleep, so I just skipped through most of the dialogue. I feel like there's a good game hidden in here somewhere, but the mechanics bored me so much before I could get to it. Based on my first impressions from 100 days, I would say hold off on it until it gets some updates. But considering the game has been out for over a year and has even had a DLC released for it before these issues have been addressed, I'm not going to hold my breath. It seems like the dev is just happy with this direction for the game. As for me, I'm just glad that Fortnite gave this one to me, so I'm going to put it back on the shelf. Thanks for watching the video, let me know if these short first impression style videos are good, or just give the video a like. This was a bit of an experiment and I'm interested to see how it goes. And if you want to see more, subscribe for more artisanal, exquisite gaming content.